a man from the USA has allowed himself to be bitten by snakes hundreds of times, 654 times to be precise. Now scientists are studying his blood to find a more effective treatment for snake bite, which is a perennial problem in countries like Kenya. Here's a report. Writhing in pain on a hospital bed in a Kenyan coastal town, snake bite victim Shukarani Konde Tuva faces the grim reality of his left leg being amputated. At 14, Shukarani is not alone. Thousands of people are bitten by snakes each year in Kenya, where a lack of effective anti-venom and traditional beliefs means the real number of victims is significantly higher. His leg is in a bad state. It is totally rotten and maggots are even coming out from it. Some 5.4 million people are bitten by snakes. Each year globally and roughly, half are poisoned by venom, according to World Health Organization data. A few kilometers from where Shukurani lay in pain, traditional healer Douglas Ramabajala has a variety of concoctions he uses to suck out venom. One popular remedy is the snake stone, made from a cow's bone and sold for about $1. Experts worry that by using traditional snake bite remedies, patients are losing precious time, but they are popular because anti-venom treatments are expensive. There are a lot of uh, cultural issues that surround the, the treatment of snake bites. And that's one of the barriers that uh, we are facing as a, as a department. Because most people do not come uh, to the hospital immediately after they get bitten by the snake. So they have to wait and mostly they come to the hospital when they, 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 they poison or the venom have already uh, done a lot of damage to their body. But thousands of miles from Kenya, Tim Frieda from Wisconsin, USA, is certainly not afraid of snakes and has been bitten hundreds of times, often on purpose. Now scientists are studying his blood in the hope of creating a better treatment for snake bites. Frieda has long had a fascination with reptiles and other venomous creatures, hoping to protect himself from snake bites and out of what he calls simple curiosity. He began injecting himself with small doses of snake venom and then slowly increased the amount to try to build up tolerance. I take it out and I basically let it bite my arm. Um, and the reason I do that is for shock value to bring awareness for snake bite. Um, nobody wants to see me just inject a lethal dose. That's boring. So what I, what I did is I intentionally got bit to prove a point and film it um, to represent the people that die from snake bite. I wasn't looking to be a YouTube star or anything like that, or, you know, it's all about the science for me, 100%. So Tim uh, basically created a procedure that allowed broad recognition of uh, many, many different toxins moving forward. Um, and that recognition allowed him to be protected from snake bites. And what we're hoping to do is take that same protection, but not have to have everyone undergo 18 years of immunization and snake bites ultimately, um, but instead uh, create, um, the uh, an isolated identify the best antibodies, or we can combine with small molecules to create antivenom um, from um, Tim's amazing blood. It's very early research. The antivenom was only tested in mice, and researchers are still years away from human trials. And even though their experimental treatment shows promise against the group of snakes that include mambas and cobras, it's not effective against vipers, which include snakes like rattlers. Frida is now employed by Centivax, which is trying to develop the treatment, and he's excited that his 18-year Odyssey could one day save lives from snake bite. Africa Bureau, Vion, World is One. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.